Spaceport takes great pride in the special people we choose to run our stores all across America. And you can be very proud to have been chosen as part of the team responsible for running your Spaceport. As an attendant, your most important responsibility is knowing our company rules and enforcing them at all times. So, in the next few minutes, we'll go over all of the steps you and your team should take every day to provide for uniform management of every store in the chain. The most important rule to remember is that our customers are number one. Without customers, there's no spaceport, no jobs, and no paychecks. So, treat every customer with respect, making them feel welcome, and letting them know that you appreciate their business. The first thing each employee should do at the very beginning of his shift is to punch his time card. It is against the law to have anyone else punch your time card for you. Among your daily duties, making change is the most frequent request your customers will have. In order to make change, you're assigned a cash box with the necessary funds. Keep bills in one front pocket. Quarters should be kept in the second front pocket. Dimes and nickels go in the right rear pocket, and painted coins in the left rear pocket. Once you get this system memorized, making change becomes easier and quicker for you. When making change for any bill larger than a one, give the customer four quarters and the rest in bills. Politely tell the customer that we have dollar bill changers for their convenience and point out where they're located. Remind them that you'll be here if they need more change or if they have any problem or question. When giving change, keep the bill handed you between your fingers and count the bills you give back to the customer out loud so that they can hear you. Then say thank you, sir, to every man, thank you, ma'am, to every woman, and thank you to every child you make change for. Never carry large wads of bills. Instead, keep track of your bills and keep no more than $25 with you at one time. Exchange large bills for smaller ones in your cash box as soon as you can get to it. A reserve bank of dollar bills is always maintained in the attendance locker. These bills are to be used only after you use up your original supply of $1 bills. When you take single bills from the locker, replace them with larger denominations in equal amounts at once. We never accept checks or money orders at Spaceport. Employees may cash their company payroll checks with the manager's approval, so always check with him first. Never borrow money from your cash box. Borrowing is forbidden and cause for immediate dismissal. As you go about your duties, you'll find money on the floor and in the coin return cups. This is considered company money and will be placed in your cash box. The pleasant, beautiful surroundings of each spaceport is carefully planned by the leading architects and space planners in the industry, and it's your job to keep the atmosphere pleasant so that our customers can enjoy themselves in safety. Follow these rules and you'll find controlling your store easy. The first rule to enforce at all times is our no smoking, no eating, and no drinking policy. When you observe someone smoking, say, I'm sorry, sir. We're not allowed to smoke in here. There's an ashtray over there for your convenience. Thank you very much. Use similar polite language for people with food or drinks. Keep your machines and games clear at all times. If a patron has a coat or parcel on a game or is standing between machines, politely ask them to move their items off of the machine and not to stand between the games. Never allow people to loiter in your store or directly in front of your store. Spaceport is a family entertainment center and our business is geared to attracting families shopping in the mall, offering them a clean, pleasant and fun-filled environment to enjoy with their children. Groups loitering around your entrance can chase these customers away. If a patron becomes disorderly by swearing, cursing, refusing to cooperate with you, or refusing to do as you've asked, tell him that he is violating store rules and ask him to leave the store immediately. If he won't leave when you ask him to, tell him, You're now trespassing. I'm going to call mall security or the police if you don't leave immediately. You should never use physical force yourself unless the offender strikes you first. Then use only the amount of force you feel is necessary to protect yourself, other patrons, and the store itself. Once the offender has left, let him leave peacefully and do not pursue him. Anytime local police, mall security, fire department, or rescue squad is called, fill out and complete an incident report with a full description of the incident. Sign the report and leave it for your manager. He'll review the report, phone the home office with the details, and forward the incident report to the home office on the next working day. In addition, any incident involving injury or store damage must be reported to the home office by telephone immediately. Always note a full description of the offender so you can keep him out of your store in the future or provide police with the information if needed. This customer is continuing to abuse a game. You should ask him to leave the store immediately and not return. 
If a problem occurs, follow any of the steps you've just seen in getting him to leave your store. In case of an emergency, refer to your emergency list for proper numbers and procedures. These steps are for your protection and to let us know the facts so that we can support you in case of a problem. Be aware of customers needing assistance. Here's how to help. Always be friendly and polite. You're the most important link between us and our customers and we depend upon you to project a bright, positive image as a professional. If a customer claims to have lost a coin in a game, first look for a credit on the game. Next, check the return cup. If you find the coin, try it for the customer. If it still doesn't work, try another coin from your change pocket. If that coin fails, try the coin slot opposite the defective slot. If both shoots won't accept your coin, refund the lost coin to the customer and place an out of order sign on the game. Write up a service request as soon as you can spare a moment off the floor. Memorize these procedures and go over your job description to be sure that you understand them fully. If you don't find the customer's lost coin, insert a painted coin in the same chute. If the game does not register a credit, try the next chute. If that chute works, remove the machine front door key from the envelope in the attendant's locker. When the customer completes his game, open the machine front door and pop the rejector spring on the faulty chute. Also, fill out a service request form for the game without placing an out of order sticker on the game. If the game won't start at all, ask the customer what other game they'd like to play and place a painted coin in that game for him. Then put an out of order sign on the defective game. If the game works with your painted coin, you either have an intermittent problem or a false complaint. So watch the game carefully until you're positive about its condition. When someone says, this game don't work right, here's what to do. Ask what the problem is first, and if they still have an active game, see what is happening yourself. If the game is over, put a painted coin in the game and watch the patron play the game. If the game is defective, put an out of order sticker on the game after asking the customer what other game he'd like to play and put a painted coin in that game for him. Be sure and maintain a record of all the painted coins that you use, indicating the name of the game and the reason why the coin was used. Also, be sure to write up a service request as soon as possible so that you won't forget. If you can't see a problem but you've heard the same complaint about the game from another customer, don't place the machine out of order but write up a service request so the manager can check the game. Spaceport is America's number one family fun center and we want our customers to enjoy the newest games and to challenge equipment that's in perfect condition every time they insert their coins. So always be on the lookout for a problem such as burnt out bulbs and always be ready to help when you're needed. As you continually patrol your store, keep alert at all times and never watch a customer play any game for too long a time as other customers may need your help. One rule that cannot be broken is to never manually activate the coin switch of any game. Always use a painted coin when checking out a game for a customer. And be sure the door is closed when you drop the painted coin in the slot. No free plays will ever be allowed except to members of your immediate family during the slower periods of the day. When your family is playing, use painted coins, but save enough to use later in your shift. We've covered a lot of subjects, and there's a lot to remember. You have an important job to do. As a responsible teammate on the Spaceport team, knowing our policies and rules is vital. One rule that can bring immediate dismissal is playing games after you've punched in your time card. You're more than welcome to play before your shift, but never during the shift, while on duty, or while wearing your uniform when the store is open. If you should ever find credits on games, always cycle them off right away, and never give games left on machines to customers. Another important member of your team is your dollar bill changer, or changers if you have more than one. We have planned a safe, easy system to protect you and your dollar bill changers, so always follow these steps when you have to enter these machines. First, if you have to enter a dollar bill changer when your manager is not present, use the key in the sealed envelope. Write the date, time, and reason for entering the changer on the envelope. The envelope should then be left with your service requests and the key returned to the cabinet in a new sealed envelope with your signature across the flap. If two attendants are on duty, make sure your teammate is with you when you enter the changer. When you empty the bill changer, never mix bills from one changer with bills from another changer. And when removing bills to use in your cash box, take the bill holder unit into the office using a bank bag. Always put back larger bills to equal the total immediately.